Hey, Blackheart Productions here. I'm going to show you how to uh, do some basic stuff in fume effects. Yep, that's right. CGI and all that crap. Alright, so right here it says standard primitives. Um, this is in 2012, so if you have like something older, it might look different. Standard primitives right here under create and geometry. Standard primitive. Click down on that drop down menu. Clip, uh, click <laughs> fume effects. And right here under object type, click fume effects again. Now, put your uh, mouse in the middle of the grid and control click drag. Now, release control and. Oh, what did I do? Alright. Now, release the click, and uh, release control. Now drag this up a lot. Now over over here, you can see that it's dragged up on the screen. You want that just above the screen. All right, now click. All right, so that's what we've gotten, and I'd say that looks pretty good. All right, so. Now, this is important. We go to helpers. This is, well, let me tell you what this is. This is basically our box for where ex explosion dash fire is going to be, whatever you want it. So, now we're going to helpers. It's the little uh, tape measure. We're going to click on that. Now, it says standard right here. We're going to click on standard, drop down, click fume effects. Now, we're going to click Simple Source right here. We're going to draw one, or we're going to click and drag to create a sphere. Now, we're going to go up into Select and Move. While this is still selected, the sphere, and we're going to click on it. Click on, click on Select and Move. Now, in our Perspective view, we're going to drag it up, but as you can see right here, it's going to drag up with it. And you just want it just above just above that orange line right here. All right. So now we're going to click on the box lines, one of them, and we're going to go to modify. Right next to create is modify. Click on modify. Now go down to here and click on open fume effects UI. We're going to go to object dash source and we're going to click on pick object. We're going to click on our source or the, our sphere, which is our source. Now we're going to go to simulation and we're going to bring this quality first up to 10. Time scale we can leave. Uh, vorticity. We're going to bring that up to about 1.7, or 0 0.7, sorry. Velocity dampen, damping. We're going to bring that up to about 30-ish. 0.30-ish. <laughs> um, now the X turbulence, we're going to put up to about point, or, uh, we're going to bring that up to, I would say, 5-ish. Uh, how about three-ish? Somewhere around three. Not point three, but three. All right, now detail right here. I'm going to drag that up. Now this fuel. This is important. Now the ignition we're going to drag up to about 120. If you click on the arrows and drag up or down, the number in the box next to it will drag up or go up or down. Alright, now this burn rate, we're going to down, burn rate, sorry, we're going to drag down. Expansion, we're going to go up a little. Now actually, we're going to put the expansion at zero for now. Now here's the thing. Make sure your uh, time frame is at zero, or your keyframe, and we're going to select auto key. Now go to frame two, and we're going to go to uh, f 
How about four? Enter. Now go to frame 10 and click or uh, press zero. And now we're going to click auto key again. And as you can see, it goes up and then down. And that's going to be our basic explosion. Now, under uh, render, this is optional, we can go to smoke, smoke color, click on this. We're going to click on this little arrow right here. Double click. Oh. Alright, so on this side, we're going to, right here, it's gonna, we're going to click this little arrow and drag down to about this gray, somewhere around here. Press OK, and we can close this. Go to the preview up here, click Open Preview. We're going to drag this over there. Then we're going to press Start Default Simulation. First click on your perspective view. Right, sorry. And then we're going to click on Start Default Simulation. And that's your explosion. Let it finish and then you'll be able to watch this little preview. Also right here if you go to quality you can drag this up to 5 or click it up to 5. It gives you better quality. So now we've got our explosion right here. Press play and it goes. Very, very basic, but that's a starting point. So, hope it helps. Thanks. Bye.